It's D-Day for Highlanders, the assistant coaches are Kosmasa Tsano Zulu and Amini Somapiri, who have been requested to respond on mitigation of a judgment handed upon them of unbecoming behavior in the conduct of their business. Highlanders CEO Nlanla Dube says that the suspended coaches will know of their sentence once they come back to the club to respond on the judgment. The coaches are, are given, have been handed the judgment. They are going through it and they've been given an opportunity uh, to respond in mitigation before sentence is passed. Meanwhile, the Super Power Cup to be played for by Highlanders, Dynamos and Botswana Zamochudi Centre Chiefs in Francistown will be launched in Bulawayo next week. According to CEO Dube, the two local clubs have been cleared by relevant authorities to participate and dates for the tournament confirmed. Yes, we've signed the contract, we've sent it through, we've received clearance from ZIFA, we've received clearance and confirmation from PSL, we've sent our list of our players, uh, we send pictures. Players will be selected by subscribers of the sponsors' networks and the Saw, Boso and Timbare supporters in Botswana or those that may travel to the neighboring country have a chance to choose the starting lineup of their favorite team. So you send SMSs and, um, and they, are, they are working with mobile networks. The, the sponsor of the tournament themselves are a mobile network in Botswana um, and uh, the, they, are, they are partnering with local. Uh, mobile networks uh, to, to ride on their SMS platform. So another opportunity for Highlanders and Dynamos to prove who is better than the other and this time being taken across our border. Back home, anxiety grips the Highlanders family on what decision the executive will hand down on the two suspended coaches and when. In a matter of time, the public will know whether the two coaches are in or out of a bosso, says Highlanders CEO Nsanja Dube. For television, sport, media in Bulawayo, I'm memory in Ndlovu.